Hello, viewers. Welcome to KBOX TV. And it's your boy, Kofi Bessie Jr. And today, again, I'm here with Snapper Boxing Management and his team. We have Warpath on the line. We have Fleroy. We have Alexis. We have all of them. They all went to Mexico. And guess what? They made us train all the five fights that they were engaged in. We have all of them on the line today. And we have the CEO himself, Snapper Boxer, uh, Snapper Taylor, with us to tell us how everything went down in Mexico. So stick and, stick and stay. Don't go far, and we'll get the show lot. We'll get the show underway in a minute. So, joining me right now is Snapper himself. So let me just bring Snapper on, and then we'll talk. Hi, Snapper. Welcome to KBox TV. How are you doing today? We're good. And how are you also doing? Uh, I'm doing great. We had a great time out in Mexico, man. Yeah. Glad to be home to get some rest. Great, great. First of all, I want to say a very big congratulations to you and your team. I mean, five people went to war and five came back victorious. Big congratulations to you and the team. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Great, great. And guys, for your information, we have Warpath on the line. We have Alexis. We have Fleur. We have some of the guys on the on, and they will be on the show with us and talk to us about how they felt and how the show went down in Mexico and and, and what they expected in a few in a few uh, days or months. It's back. Yeah. What part has told me that he has he has only 15 minutes, so I'll bring him on first so that we can have a conversation. What path? Welcome to K Box TV. Hi, hi, I'm still man. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank God about everything. He's the king. You know, second, I want to thank Snapple, man. Yeah, I gotta give this man credit, man. This man has he does a lot for the sport. He does he did a lot for us. He changed he changed I like that night. He changed minds tremendously. This man needs an applause. This man needs all the recognition he he need, that he deserves. You know, nobody gets him, nobody gives him the credit. But you know what? I'm I'm, I'm with it. I'm SBN for life, bro. Like thank you, brother. I really um, appreciate it. I'm happy with my performance. Right. I'm so happy with my performance. Um, could have did better, but mm. I did say I was gonna bring fireworks. Mm, mm, mm. You know, you no I'm baby. just grateful oh, to be yeah. here. I'm just grateful to be here. Great, great. You know, I'm you not. Can, I, 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 I know. Yeah, yeah. You have full of emotions that you want to, you know, you want to let everything out. You can see, and yeah, I can also see with Snapper that I mean, he's also taking and taking it and appreciating everything that you have, to, that you said so far. Snapper, the performance yes, of Warpath. What do you say about it? I mean, as a manager. Uh, repeat that again. I'm sorry. The performance that you saw of Warpath on the night in Mexico, what do you what do you say about it? Uh, he had a. What, how long was your layoff, uh, Warpath? Two years. Uh, how long? Two years. Was it? Yeah, two, for, years. two years. Two years. It's just like um, you just had to give him a tune up in a uh, in some ninety three in the ninety three petrol in the gas tank, and he was fine tuned. I mean, he he looked better. On, coming off a layoff to some of the guys, these guys they have out here now that, that stays mm. in the gym and um, has been fighting you know, repetitiously. But this guy right here, he's one of the ones I'm very excited about. All my guys, but, you know, he right. believes in himself and um, mm. he, he's definitely one of SBM's rising stars and he's going to be that, that, that champion. I promise you. All right, guys, I want to say a very big congratulations to Warp Out again. It was a very brilliant performance. I know you have a very short time and thank you for making time to come on the on the show for us and we appreciate it. Yeah and and, and 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 so and we'll have you on the show another time and then we'll have a conversation, right? I'm I'm, I'm gonna let, let you go for now. Yeah thank you sure. champ thank you for your time champ December guys, all right now guys I want to bring on uh snapper uh Taylor's um uh, partner they've been doing this they've been making sure that they give the platform to boxers to be able to showcase and exhibit their talents and He's a Nigerian based in the US and he's done a lot for the sport. Guys, let me bring on as uh, the LPMG um uh, Nelson Azuri. Nelson, welcome Thank to Facebook TV. Thank you. What's up, Kofi? What's going on, yeah. man? Hey, I'm good, good man. Everything is fine. How are you? Yeah, yeah I'm good. Thank and how are you doing too? Yeah, I, I thank God, man. Thank you also for giving us the platform, you know. Um mm. For especially that that side of the world to mm. to you know to to to, to see what we're doing to, to mm. you know showcase us to the world you know as right, you right. know 
being a Nigerian, I think I think that you know it's it, it hasn't been easy just putting our talent out there. So um, right. partnering with a guy like Snapper to to mm. to start this this wave of of success. Is right. really something I, you know, I look forward to. We already started in Mexico. The Mexico right. show was was beautiful, and I'm, I'm, you know, shout out to this brother, man. Yeah, man. likewise, yeah. likewise. Anybody who knew me know I wouldn't put my name on the dotted line besides nobody unless they was 100 uh, percent for the same cause as the SBM way. And this guy, like, you know, I, I couldn't have picked a better partner. I mean, he he loves this fighter. He believes in our reputation, and um, I, I love I love this guy. I love this guy. Honestly, I appreciate it, man. I, I, I don't say it lightly. You know. Nah, so Snapper and LPMG, fifty five, sorry, five boxers went left US to uh, represent the brand in Mexico. Yes. Yes. They all came back flying colors. Amazing. Yes. I mean, I was watching yes. the highlights on. Uh, <laughs> I was yeah, I was watching the highlights on on, on yes. Snapper's um, Facebook. Yes. Impressive. I mean, uh, and, Snapper, yeah. No, no, I was just gonna say Warpath is the kid. Yeah. I'm I'm a believer now. And, and <laughs> I know I know talent, man. I'm right. a believer. The kid is he's good. He was right. he's really an account. I don't know if, did you ever tell Kofi? He's an accomplished amateur here, man. Man. I mean, he is he has really beat some of the top amateurs here before, you know. So he, he's not he's not new to the scene. So right, right. Stopper, you know, kind of like just continue to develop him here, you know, in a, in a few years, probably two years. Mm. Staff, I, mm. I think we should be fine for a title, right? I, I, I'm looking before, you know, the, the, the way he's next, going and, the end of next year, and I'm maybe. the end of next year for sure, because, yeah, you know, maybe, doing, it, you know, it, this COVID good, stuff, title, it, you know, yeah, it, it, you know, the HOV lane is here due to yeah. COVID. So a lot of, you know, a lot of times the, yeah. uh, I think we're listening to you for a minute. Can you come again? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear we can you. hear you now. Yeah. Yeah. Right, you, know, so, uh, you can go ahead. Yeah. So you were talking about Wopat. Uh, it, it's one of the guys that really put a very great performance. I, I, I was wishing, I was, I was, I, I wish we could have him longer, but he said he had 15 minutes. I'll see whether he's going to stay with us for, for more and bring him back on and see the plans that you guys have for us. But gotcha. I mean, uh, Unfortunately, um, Nelson, you also couldn't make you couldn't be there, but you had a representative there to yes. be able to take care of the team and everything. Um, now, Snapper, I mean, I want to ask you: these guys, the journey that um, that you have for them, you're also going to take them to Nigeria to go fight and to Ghana and all these places before you are able to, uh, before you be able to, you know, give them these titles and everything that you're talking about. How is the journey? How is the plan life? You said, how's the plan? Yeah, what's the plan? The plan for this case? Well, you know, we, we're going to sit down collectively and pretty much see, you know, we're going to move the guys and see which route they need to go. Mexico is, is a, you know, a, a tall glass, a water to drink down, man. Them guys over there tough. And what I like about it over there, you can, it's a measuring stick to really see, you know, where your guys are before you put them on the big stage. Just like in Nigeria, when it's time for them to go over there, we'll take them over there. But we have a lot of Nigerian, um, a lot of uh, Nigerian prospects over there that we that needs attention too. So you know, Nigerians are going to be going over to Mexico and, and vice versa. So it's just like it's not it's not something that's going to be uh, you know we, we're not rushing into anything because we, we're here to stay. You know, this is something we're going to be doing. We're going to be in Nigeria and in Ghana and uh, and around the world. SBM and LPMG is here to stay. So. This is something that we can we could talk about forever because it's not short lived. Right, right. And and let me just interject. So, like you said, the same thing in Ghana, man. You know, um, Snap is very committed to making sure that region. So, of course, that region it's really Nigeria and Ghana. You know, in, right. in all honesty, you know, West Africa is yeah, really Nigeria right. and Ghana as far as right. boxing platform. Now, Ghana is huge, of course. So. Mm. SBM, LPMG, we are very committed to making sure that we get the process rolling also mm -hmm. in Ghana, you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, of course, we do have some of the Ghanaian fighters that will be on this card that we, we, we have in December. But mm -hmm. as soon as we get the ground rolling, we want them to fight also and, um, in Ghana, you know, in front so, of their own crowd, you know, their home right. crowd. And So this... this 
Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. So, so what, what, what we're we trying to do is add on to add on to what you were saying. We're trying to find the, the land, you know, own the real estate, uh, get the land, build a facility, and you know, instead of having the fighters traveling back and forth across seas all the time, just like going to serve, just like uh, the uh, in the baseball league, they go to a farm system and we build a facility to have places for these guys to lay their heads up proper nutrition. And like I said, it's something that is not like we can't do it. It's something we're going to do in time. So mm-hmm. when we bring these guys over there, that's why I said we don't have to rush to do that now. You know, uh, mm-hmm. everything is about the right, it's about timing. You got to make sure it's cost efficient and you got to make sure these guys, these guys has families and stuff like that. So we got to make sure that they're properly compensated. So when they go to leave to go over there, they had it would be a system. You know, we don't want to put the carriage before the horse. We want to make sure it's a system. So when they go over there, they can be compensated to go and make sure their families is well secured. Yes, sir. Now, Nelson, let me come to you. I mean, I had you on the show and we're talking of how um, African fighters are funny sometimes and how it has even made it very difficult for the the business that you even want to do with these people happen. With this plan that you have in place, do you feel like it's going to be able to um, curb some of these things that makes it very difficult for you, for, for, for managers to work with fighters? Absolutely. So one thing that I've, I've, you know, in the process, you learn from mistakes. Right. So some, you know, been doing this for about 15 years. Some of the things I've spoken to my partner, Snap, Snapper, about um, mm. is that we have to manage the expectations. You mm. know, you sign them because you sign them. They think, you know, from be- before it even before we even get to that point, we let them know that listen, it's not no ten thousand um, dollar, you know, signing bonus. You know, right, it's not right. what we're trying to do. We believe in your talent. We will make sure we 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 give you some money. Create the opportunity. Camp. Yeah, mm-hmm. an opportunity. You know, a little bit of change for training camp. It's not a lot, Kofi. You know how it is in our region. Yeah, right. It's just so right. you can train, and you know, not a lot. Um, so those expectations are managed now from the be- before we will start. So, mm. and that way, all the guys that we have now back in Africa and Mexico, all, all these fighters, even in the United States, you know, they all know what the expectations are. Okay. Mm. We will take you there. Believe in the process, believe in the system that we have, and we will mm. get you there. You know, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think nobody in boxing has what we have, and I'm just being honest it with is, you. And I, and I, I'm not to, not to say true. it boldly. I'm it one of true. them guys. When I say something, I mean it. And I know yeah, all the guys in, in boxing, but you know, you know, from from one of the top prospects in in the world to some of the biggest stars in the world, we manage. You know, Anthony Yege, some of you, you know, some of Ghanaian's top. Rafael Mesa is is with us. Habib yeah. Ahmed is with us. You know, mind your plan. Let the world know. He's with us. Right. He's the number three ranked bantamweight in the world now. In the, in the world. In the world. Ka- so, e- e- Emil Kazakuze. Kazakuze. In fact, Kofi, Emil, Emil Kazakuze, right. Yeah, Emil Kazakuze. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mind your should be the mandatory to fight um, um, Nayo, the, the Japanese kid. And Nayo, right. Nayo. We're already yeah. in conversations to see mm-hmm. how that's going, you know. We I mean, have great talent. BC so, Samir. Yes. Right, and, you know, right. Rasti Samir, you know, he, yeah. he, he, he spoke to us that he wants to resume what he already got going with us. So we're going to put it out there. You know, if you if you show commitment, we're going to give you the chance. We're going to give you the opportunity. It's really that right. simple. If you're not serious, there's no need for us to wait, waste money. And and I'm being honest, you know. Right, I'm not, right. This brother, we don't sleep sometimes. You're on the phone. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, I don't sleep. That's the real. I call I, I've, there hasn't been any time I call you guys that I haven't reached yeah. you. Midnight. Yeah. 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 If I don't answer, I'm traveling or I had a difficulty. Yeah. And, um, it's, it's yeah. something. Man, we expect the boxes, you know, and we know it's not easy because we don't get in the ring with them. We, we don't get in the ring with them. But do your it takes part. A lot. We promise to do our part. You know, it's really right. simple, you know. But, okay. Yeah. S- snapper, you're there. Um, and help you. I mean, let me come to you, Snapper. Your next show is going to be in Niger- in Nigeria, and the guys have given us a very fantastic show, a uh, performance in in Mexico. What are your expectations on the um, December twelfth event in Nigeria? You know, it's a it's a first uh, event over there. I'm just looking for. You no, know, it's it's uncharted territory for me, but all waters the same. 
you you mm-hmm. can drown in it and you can swim. So I'm just looking forward to it. And I know everything I touch turns to platinum. So with uh, our collective minds uh, moving forward with this thing, I think it's going to be great. And I, I believe in, in, in my partners over there. That's his region. So he knows the stuff mm-hmm. over there. So one thing about me, I stay in my lane. So I trust in them. It's going to be a great event. I mean, yeah. that's why we partners. You know, I'm good at what I do. He's good with yeah. Partner yeah, I told yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, right. Kofi had a great conversation. We, we, we get the no, together now. So yeah, yeah. Right. Right. We get the cars together, so we'll definitely let you have the cars to let you see mm. your opponents. Mm. We should have them before the end of the week, you know, for the Nigerian right. event. Okay. Um, I go away with my partner, Snapper, just to make sure that, you know, you know, whatever we, you know, the opponents and stuff like that, you know, who we have, and, um, you know, then we'll start putting it out there, you know. All right, guys, you just headed to the show exclusively. You guys, you guys will get to the card on this on KBOX TV by the end of the week, you said, right? Yes, so, by we'll the bring, end of the week. by the end of the week, guys, we're going to bring it out on KBOX TV. So, stick and stay. Maybe I'll bring these guys back here and they will talk to us on why they even paired who against who, right? Yes, so, stick yes. and stay. I'll, I'll have them back here and they will talk about the show and the people that are going to pair. But I'm very excited about the name that you mentioned and the fact that. You are, it's already in, in you guys are already in, uh, in a conversation with Nile to see how you compare with him. Mano Plunge. Yes. This guy is, is, is a talent. talent. Uh, I mean, I was I was in this corner when it, we went to Singapore. I watched the guy fight. I mean, I have never seen a fighter yeah. fight the way he did. Right? Now he was in trouble. Very, <laughs> very. Now was in trouble. And, 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 <laughs> my young pups, but we get, we got him up there too, man. Man, yo. Yeah. I'm sorry. Right. You, know, you guys have to see. The Japanese right. kid is in trouble. He's not going to walk my young plunge down the way he walked hey. down. He's hey. not. You know, no. because you know you no. know how aggressive Mario is, Mario Plunge is. So he's not gonna walk right. down. So he better right. make and, and they both have power. So that, let's right. do it. Let's and, do and it. Then we then we Eddie Murphy or Sunny Hall, we coming to America, baby. We're yes, gonna come sir. and get all right. of them belts. Yes, we come to get all of them. Yes, sir. So, mm. you know. Now let, let's let's celebrate this guy that gave us another fantastic performance in in Mexico. I'm talking about um, Fleroy. Fleroy, can you hear us? What's up? Hello, Fleroy. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Oh, all right. What's going on? What's going on, y'all? Yeah, we're good. And how how you doing? I'm good. Can't complain. Can't complain. Yeah, so um, you gave us a very good show in Mexico, right? Um, you had a, a fantastic team with you. And from I was following your journey from the time you left Las Vegas and when you arrived in Mexico and what you were telling us the fans that we should expect. And of course, you've proved your words, you are victorious. And it wasn't, it wasn't just even at, like by end of the round, but by knockout. What do you make of your own performance in Mexico? You said, what do I, from, from the experience? Yeah, I mean, yeah, what do you make of your performance? For you, the performance that you put up in Mexico. Yeah. I can't really hear you. It's, lag, it's like, it's like lagging. He said, what do you I mean, think yeah, of your stop. performance in, in Mexico? Like, every time you talk, it's like mad static. Wow, I think I think we have this. Yeah, the, uh, the connection might be bad, Fleroy. Fleroy, you might yeah. you might need to hang up and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think you need to hang up and come back on. Like, let's add uh, Alexis. Alexis was also on the show. It's, I think it's fair that we celebrate the people that have already given us a very good performance so far. So let's give let's 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 hear from um, Alexis. Alexis, can you hear us? Yes. Alexis, I mean, welcome to KBox TV. How you doing, guys? Yeah, we're good. And you, 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 you were also in, on the show uh, in Mexico, and you also won by knockout. What do you make of the performance in Mexico? Um, so my, you said how was my performance? Yeah, for you. Um, to be honest, I didn't like my performance. Okay, why? Tell us why. I feel like, you know, it was just, I just made a lot of mistakes. But I still got okay. the victory, and I still got through it. But I'm going to get my next 
Probably my next show is much, much different. Nerves right, Energy, right. uh, fighters, a lot of fighters I've seen coming up, uh, their first fight, and you know, a lot of their teammates here, you know, a couple of teammates that went before him, um, right. and they do well. And for a rookie mm-hmm. just coming in the game like that, making his pro debut, it puts a lot mm-hmm. of pressure on him. But it showed me a right. lot. It showed me right. he has great potential. He had will. He, he got great whiskers. His chin was made in China. So mm-hmm. it's a lot more to a fighter just to go in there, just look, look the part, right. uh, you know, or play the part. Like he did exactly what, what was supposed to happen. You know, you deal with mm-hmm. adversity early, and that's why I like the system, uh, the farm system, because it gives these fighters a chance to evolve on the lower level in front of the mm-hmm. lights and be able to, uh, you know, deal with these adversities instead of being mm-hmm. a, in front of a, a Tank Davis or a Canelo or some, uh, uh, that, that type of guy to learn at the lower stage. So he did exactly what he's supposed to do. You know, um, right. I gave him a, um, a, a B-plus um, performance. Performance. All right. So I mean, um, Alexis, you just heard from your your your, your manager. He gives you a B plus performance. But for you, is pro boxing difficult? Because of course, you've had your own amateur experience, and then you had the pro your first pro fight. Would you say pro boxing is difficult? Um, no. You just gotta get more comfortable. It's different. It's totally different from the amateurs. You gotta learn how to sit on your punches. You gotta learn how to make everything count. You gotta relax in there. You know, it's not like everybody's of- screaming at you. <laughs> no, it's like a <laughs> you know. Right, right, right. So, um, what are you expecting in the coming um, in the coming fights? Now that you've you've you've, you've tasted professional boxing, what should we, the fans and everybody that's believe in you, expect in the coming in your coming fights? Oh, like he said, he, he gives me a B plus. I'm not. I want to give him my A plus, so okay. not, that's not that's not what I'm here for. I want to I want to improve in each fight. So by me watching my my film every day, you know, mm. I was doing I was doing my homework. You know what I had to fix right. as a fighter. Mm. That's what I have to do, and to add to my arsenal and what to make me a better fighter. You know, and um, right. you know, you never stop learning. When right. you stop learning, right. you're a fool. So I, I love to learn. So I, I want to continue mm. to fix my mistakes or whatever I got to do to be become that world champion. Okay. We wanna, thank That's you for it. your honesty and thank you for your time. And we wish you well. And, I, of course, you're in a very comfortable uh, team. Now, let me let me ask from uh, Nelson. Nelson, you also had the opportunity to watch his performance. What do you, what do you, what's your ratings of his performance in Mexico? So, so you know what? Uh, what Snapper said was. Um, can you guys see me? Yeah, gave, Snapper said no, we can't see you. Snapper said he gave okay. me a B plus. Okay. Yeah. And that, you know what I mean I'm that? gonna have to hang up and come back. Yeah. Because some, yeah, yeah, sometimes right. what happens is you, yeah. your pros is different. You have to find a way to get that right. win. And what right. he showed to me when I was watching his fight was that he found a way to get that win. You know, right. defense mm-hmm. gotta be a little better. But mm-hmm. he just does his first pro fight, you know. Mm-hmm. And I know mm-hmm. for sure I was proud of him that he was able mm-hmm. to dig it out and eventually mm-hmm. come on top, you know, and get right. the knockout. Right, great. Yeah. Um, it's 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 the the the, the purpose of uh, putting a fighter in a in a ring is to make sure that he comes out victorious and unharmed, you Absolutely. know. So, <laughs> we, um, so on behalf of all of us that watch you, uh, we are really proud of you, Alexis, and we. we, we we, we, we want to see an A plus performance in your next fight and, and in the and the rest of the fights to come. I think I think we can bring on Fleroy. Fleroy, can you hear us now? Yeah, I can hear you. Now, okay, great, great, great. Now your performance in Mexico. How would you rate yourself? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Can you hear? That is bad. The connection is bad, yeah. But I'm asking, I mean, your performance in Mexico, right? How would you rate your performance? Mm. Uh, um, you know, I did what I was supposed to do. You know, I, I, How would you right. rate your performance for you, Roy? Mm. So I went in there, you know, 
my opponent and, um, and got the W, got the knockout. Uh, congratulations to you for, I mean, on your victory. Unfortunately, we, I, I know you can hear us, but we can hear you well. Uh, so I'll let um, Snapper and um, uh, Nelson do the talking on your behalf. And we hope we, we, we wish to get you back on the show where we can talk properly. And hopefully the network will be better uh, 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 and get your, your side of the story. Okay, yeah, we can hear you, but it's, it's we're not getting, we're so. Back on later. We'll get them back on later, yeah. Yeah, so Snapper, you are with Fleroy, and you've been with him for, for, for quite some uh, for quite a time. His performance, of course, he secured a, net, a knockout in Mexico and all that. But looking at his performance on the, overall, what would you say? Do you think he needs something to improve? Would you say he was perfect? I mean, for you, how, how was it for you? Well, um... He really didn't get a chance to show anything because it was, you know, what, 30 seconds that he knocked the guy out. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm always doing for knockout because people want to see knockout. But with mm -hmm. me, um, I like, I know, I know all my fighters get that work in the gym. I like for them to get beat up in the gym. You're going to get dropped, get mm -hmm. dropped in the gym. So get mm -hmm. the hard work in the gym so when you go to the fights, you know, the fights are easy. I'm a hands on mm -hmm. guy. So even when these guys mm -hmm. go sparring, I like to see. Well, exactly what I'm working with, so I can approve the fact that, um, the, their opponent. I never put my guys in with someone I know that's over their head. So um, mm -hmm. it's, it's in stages, and, and I never put the carriage before the horse. And that's why I like about the right. partnership with LPMG. You have the same values that I have with that. So, you know, these, these guys, you know, match them correctly, and they got to yeah. do what they have to do. Yeah, right. Um, Nelson, you also yeah. saw the fight... <laughs> I mean, miles away like I did. What yeah. would you say about Fleroy's performance? Yeah, Fleroy, of course, it was a quick, it was a quick knockout. But mm. one thing I can say about Fleroy is this: I don't know if you know mm. Ahmed Diabli, which is the Egyptian light heavyweight. He wow. spars, he spars wow. that kid and holds his own. So Fleroy right. is a fighter. Wow. He reminds me of a Chad he's, Dawson. Once he yeah, gets, so once he spars yeah. the best. Don't the mm. kid. Is is advertised? <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And, and right. People would say it's just sparring, but mm. sparring tells you what to expect. So that's why yep. we got a, exactly. a, a knockout less than the, less. You know, in the first round, it's just that simple. Uh, exactly. You know? Right. Exactly. Right. 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 Like right. All these guys, uh, those guys, are, uh, you know, they they in you know, they are in the sponge um, stages. You know, they gotta absorb this stuff like sponges, yeah. and um, mm -hmm. one. You know these lower these lower fights, man. That's exactly what they for. You know, mm -hmm. and he's learning. They're learning, and you know they're always going to learn until they get to this, you know, championships, and then they're still going to learn. Life is about yeah. learning, man. You know, yeah. and like yeah. what I love about these guys, you know, they're not arrogant. They're willing to listen. You know, they, they believe in the team. When you believe in the team, your results end up like Floyd Mayweather Jr., Earl Spence, um, Earl Spence Jr., uh, Terrence mm -hmm. Crawford. It's all about the team. You know, the bigger you get right. in this, this boxing game, the worse that their managers and, and, and promoters are. And once you, you teach your, your pups, you know, the, all of this is a part of boxing. It's not you in the ring. Right. It's about right. your team on the outside of the ring, too. You know, Certainly. who made you a star. You didn't, you, you didn't wake up and become a star just because you walked in the ring. You, you, know, you know what I'm saying? It takes yeah, a team right. to negotiate your fights. And to mm -hmm. make sure you got the proper nutrition and to get you where you're supposed to be, stay in your lane, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. you get re you get the championship results. Absolutely. Now, you, watching, watching uh, when I was watching the the, the highlights on, on on your Facebook, I saw something very very uh, nice. I mean, there was uh, Nick Campbell. Uh, he came there to to show you guys some support and all that. These people that we work with or come around around these boxes, what motivation do they bring to these fighters that you guys own um, or, man, or are managing? Nelson? Yeah, so yeah. When, you have a, when you have a guy like Nate that's been in yeah. there with the likes of, of Floyd, you know, mm. Um, mm. Guerrero, you know, Robert Guerrero, they, the ghost, you know, been in there with, 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 you know, with the best of them. If right. guys like that, I'm sorry. Nate was in there with um, what's his name? That Floyd Pacquiao. Um, I just want to make sure that I get it clear. Uh, what's his name? Um, he's now he's now a, a broadcaster. Timothy Bradley. Oh, Timothy Bradley. Timothy Bradley. 
Bradley. Bradley. Bradley. So he, Bradley. So my point is, so Nate was in there with, with Bradley and Greg. Right. He got high IQ. Yeah. Mm. When those guys are, 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 are telling you what to do in the ring and teaching, right. giving you knowledge, if mm. you don't learn from those guys, you're not going to be able to learn. So right. I'm saying all this to say that Snapper has done a good job. You know, mm. of, of of making sure we get the best trainers, mm. the best advisors, mm. best management around mm. these guys, both our mm. top guys and the guys that we're mm. bringing up. So mm. it, it's mm. in place for you to be successful. If you don't want to be successful, it's not because we're not doing our job. Right. So right. I, I think we're about to be a part of the training camp for you know for um, Robert Guerrero. And you yeah. know, the snappers already told me that. Listen, let's be there. Let's take our fighters there. Let let them just yes. see how, how it works. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. that gives you your drive, your motivation to be the best that you could be. You know. Mm -hmm. So. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, the guys got invited to uh, Robert the Ghost Guerrero's training camp in Las Vegas, and um, okay. uh, he's you know he had you know a couple of fighters and his nephew was on the card out there in Mexico. And, you know, he seen my guy's talent, and he was uh, a woo by it. And uh, he said, man, you know, you guys, you know, want to bring our guys out to the training camp? And, you know, mm -hmm. he, he even, you know, volunteered to pay sp uh, sparring for my guys. Wow. You know, and, you know, wow. that, that's, that's just a respect. And these guys see that you're out here and you're grinding and you're doing mm -hmm. what's right by these boxes. That, that's a three-time world champion right there, yes, sir. if I'm not right. mistaken. And for him to uh, acknowledge that and take his time out, to go over there to these guys and acknowledge, you know, their talent, you know, and uh, to invite them to his training camp is awesome because, you know, a mm -hmm. lot, lot of experience there. Right, right. Now, I want to say a very big uh, congratulations again to you for what you guys have done with the boys. I'm really, really impressed. I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm very excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm very excited uh, about the challenge right? for the fighters that. I signed onto the label from Africa and how um, their careers will, will turn out if they're going to stick with you and and, and do what I mean. Real you, quick, real you quick. Help. Yeah, I, I just want to cut you off, Nelson. I yeah. just need you to tell them, like, see this car that we we having out here in Nigeria. Yes, it mm. is. I mean, all, guys like you, Kofi, will appreciate. Yes. The talent that we have on it. I just want yeah. you to tell the world on K Box TV just some of the talent. You know, I got so, your plan. Yes. You know, so, uh, do you yeah. know his record? Yes. Yeah, yeah of yeah. course. I know his record. If you want me to brag about my new come in, I, I mean, how <laughs> can you like? Yeah. Like I said, I have been with a fighter like yeah. like five years before I even left, before I came here. So I, 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 I know the guy through and through. And listen, no disrespect, and I'm not, you know, I, I hope I don't get no flack and Donna for this. So, of mm. course, before we even got a, a, a hold of Mayo, everyone mm. was saying that Mayo, Mayo, Mayo is the next thing, that he's better than Duke. And Duke is my little brother. But yeah. if the measuring stick is to say that Mayo is better than Duke Micah, you know what right. we got. You, you, you right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's, right. a special, right. he's a special talent in his own. Right. So, right. And I'm just right. saying that to say that what we got going man we have a really, great talent it's really some talent that you know yes we do i'm so very excited Mario, they, they, mm. you know so of course we start to um listen to these offers the w is going to mandate it next year as mario being the mandatory challenger for that for the WBA right. title okay i'm right. saying it on k box tv and that's what i like Everything else I hear is exclusive. I mean, because these guys are working with with them, and so they know what they're saying. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exclusive some exclusive, exclusive stuff there. And like right. Said, and this, this, this is what I love about uh, me and uh, my partner here. You know, I like sitting here, you know, having these conversations and exclusively with K Box because it holds us accountable, and, and the world get to see that the things that we are doing, right. we're checking off the list. And the world can hold us accountable for the things that we're yes. not doing. Yes. You know, yes. uh, when you have no secrets and simple black and white, we can get on here and talk about these things. And yes. we're very adamant. You know, I, what I love about our great partnership, if you get shot in the leg on the war field, your partner will come back and grab you something, and grab you, and they'll yes. run you to safety. And that's yes, what sir. these guys do to me, and that's what I do to them. And I love it. Yeah. I love yeah. it.
we don't criticize. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. We, 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 we hold each we other. We sharpen each other now. It's yeah, just a different. It's just, it's just a special relationship right here, man. And I love most about him. He loved the fighters and he cared about the fighters more than his reputation. Yeah. And that says a lot. Yeah. Right, and you right. know, and Kofi, like, I think more than his reputation. Before. Think about it. Most you know, people care about I, the reputation more yeah, than the fighters. I appreciate that. And me and you spoke about <laughs> it before. It's really not, it's really never, I'm not saying I'm perfect because, you know, just like nobody any other job, is. God don't make it that like way. Just like any other job, you learn. And what mm. I've learned is I just need to be, it, I was always transparent by needing right. to make sure I manage, I keep saying it, manage their expectations. Because right, the world really in trouble now, Kofi. A big statement, so that way everybody <laughs> knows where they're going. It's not a situation yeah, right. where you know, oh, you didn't tell me, you didn't tell me. I told you from the beginning. Are you on board? Are you on the train? Are you off the train? You know yes, what I mean. Sir. So, mm -hmm. and that's one thing. I, Snapper management, LPMG, Snapper is, is giving us also right. the platform to be greater than what we was doing, and that Likewise. is where. I feel confident going into Africa and, and signing the talent that want to be with us and making them successful. Because I know it's extra tools now to make them very successful. You know, there was and, there, Yes, yes. Extra tools. Yeah, and the things about it, when you have a great partnership like Gus Kofi, certain yeah. things in boxing you, you don't have to bend for. You know, yeah. we, we don't have to bend. We yeah. don't have to bend, you know? you know, because we got a great partnership and a lot of yeah. things you know, Absolutely. the other people need the networks and the stuff for, we could do right here in-house now. So Absolutely. people, I just let the world know, we're putting the Boston world on notice. Y'all guys yes, are really in trouble. Yes, Y'all really in trouble. Right. Listen, we're doing we, it the I right way. We had to stay. Now, I want to talk about some, some of the few fighters that you have on the bill, apart from my new plan, you have Basti Samir. Basti Samir is the only boxer that was able to overtake or overcome the most powerful name in Ghana. We were in Ghana, yes. Uh, and it was it was it was it was a great night of boxing. Everybody, up. I mean, I, I feel I will put a highlight of that event back on the K Box TV tomorrow for people to see who I'm talking about. I mean, he wasn't he was he was in US, US himself to I mean to put his career on track. But then he, yes. he didn't go well. He came back to Ghana, yes. and now he's, he's joining SBM and LPMG to bring back his career. And we feel like it's going to be a great if, if there's anything to talk about, right? Yeah. Which I feel like. Um, uh, many Ghanaians would want me to talk about is the fact that it's been a long time coming that a lot of us in Ghana have predicted for him for him to become a world champion a very long time and Absolutely. it hasn't happened and we've always been questioning what's happening with uh, Basti what's happening with Basti but finally it's on the train where champions are made and so we yeah. believe that if things go well and it puts it brings back his career and everything he'll yeah. be able to achieve the greatness that we've all wanted him to, to achieve Absolutely. same with Tommy Salam Tony Salam is also going to be on the card, right? And yes. some few weeks ago, I saw him post on his Facebook. He, he had wanted a, a heavyweight tournament, which I felt like was very, a very great. He was talking about himself, uh, Olu, Olu uh, Doradora, uh, yes. Samer, and then uh, Bukum Banku saying this yes. tournament is the great. Yes. It's only a brave fighter who knows that he's got the best. Who will call out these four fantastic talents that we have in Africa Absolutely. and call them out says that he won't face them. And if you have such a guy face um, coming back or fighting on December 12th card, guys, you know that it's going to be very, very exciting. So yes. these are the cards that we are expecting or we are going to see on the card on 12th December. Of course, uh, as Snapper and Nelson said, they'll give us the full card. We'll be back here. We'll digest all the fighters for you guys to know exactly what you'll be expecting on okay. December 12th and, 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 and Victoria Alan. And guys, don't go anywhere. Stick and stay with k -Box. We'll bring yes. you the and we will be streaming and on. everybody here to talk about it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we'll definitely streaming the show live also here on Kbox TV on the day. And so yeah, um, it's 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 a lot of things that I'm really really excited about about yeah. the, about the December 12th show. Yes, and sir. what I'm really excited is that these guys don't just have people who say they want to take their career to the next level, but are doing it for you to see that they are really taking other people to the next car next level. And so you can sleep and wake up and know that, yeah, these guys are going to take their careers to the next level. Now, let, let's talk about the age factor here, um, um, Nelson and, and okay. Snap. The age factors of the, fa uh, uh, the age of ages of these guys are almost towards their, their, their retiring ages. Yes. So, what, what, is, is that, does it mean that, and, and the good thing is that most of them have incredible records. So does it mean yes. that there will be some kind of fast 
fasting or a lot of shows happening for them to be able to fight so that for them to be able to recover. Let me start with Basti, 34 years old, um, you know, Olympian, accomplished mm. amateur. I mean, I don't, I don't need to tell you his accolades. Right, right. Whatever it is, he had some management issues. Um, mm. But at the same time, I spoke to him. I said, mm. Basti, for us to do this, you have to listen to your team. Okay? You listen to your team, we'll get you over the hump. Like you right. said, he's 34, but he's 18 and all. He's still 100, I think 120 something in the world. Yeah. A couple of fights, he'll be ranked top 15. It's just that easy. Right. Remember, he's a light heavyweight. So right. being a light heavyweight, I know he fought Bukuban to the cruiserweight, but that's Basti true. is really a light heavy. If he's trained properly and everything. And nobody can get these guys to the top like me. That's what I'm yes. good at. So you that's all about to say. got that strength. That, um, I'm telling you, I, I'm a savage like, with that. Going back to what I said earlier, I had the tools. But the tools is is a lot bigger now to make sure, <laughs> that, you know, to make sure that they, you know, they get to the top. I cannot mm. fight for you in the ring, but I could get you there. Mm. Snapper could get you there. It's your right. job to train properly. We'll make sure we give you every tool to be successful in the ring. But mm. it's your job to go in there and do. Basti gives me confidence right. that he's one of those guys in the world. At 34, he doesn't have a lot of mileage on him. Remember, there's a kid outside to Golden Boy. So, right. after right. Delahoya is not right. signing right. an African fighter, if he doesn't know that the talent is exceptional. Yeah. And these guys think, all he's and, and, and listen, yeah. and they, it's all gas downhill with no brakes. You know, they fighting, you're going to yeah. be fighting rapidly. You're mm -hmm. gonna keep on fighting. It's gonna be meaningful fights, Minimum. you know. And, and it got to be worth something. Like every everybody, listen. My 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 goal and our goal as a team is everyone who we sign is for mm -hmm. them to be champions. Yes. There's no mm -hmm. other yeah. way. No yes. other way. And we're gonna give them every opportunity that we have to get every last one of our fighters equal opportunity to become world champion so yeah. they can provide for their families. Yeah. And and, right, and what, Snap, yeah. what Snapper said, just real quick, he means that, man. Because listen, we 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 they send us contracts for a decent amount of money. We 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 yeah. We, we, we reject those kind con of contracts. We reject yep. them, and we let the fighters know that. Listen, it's not that we don't want you to make so 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 amount of money, but believe in the system. Believe in what we're doing. You know, believe in what we're doing. Because you know, what big money to them. It's really not a lot of money. If you want to be successful and you want to take care of your family for the rest of your life, yeah, Snapper and LPG yeah. and whatever we put on the table, just just trust yeah. the system that we have going. Yeah. This is my motto, and this is no disrespect to any fighter because any fighter who uh, steps in that ring, they deserve to be respected because they, yes, you know, they might not make it home to their family. But I always say this. Opponents... Mm get paid in the beginning, champions get paid in the end. Yes. And only a few will understand that. It takes a lot for a manager, a promoter to uh, to spend money yeah. on these your, your A guys, opponents. So mm -hmm. they get paid in the beginning repetitiously from everybody because mm -hmm. they have a job to do. It's like I said, three jobs in boxing when you when you go to work is win, lose, or draw. It's up to right. you to pick which shift. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right, right. It's weird. <laughs> I'm, I'm really enjoying this conversation, and I just don't want you guys to go because uh, I feel like the things that you guys have in store for the guys is a lot. I mean, this is just a team of the iceberg. Uh, I have I have a couple of messages coming through saying that uh, congratulations to the fighter, my guys. Uh, my guys, Napa is the truth. I can't wait uh, to fight in Lagos. Uh, we have this guy saying that he wants to be part of you guys. What should he do? I'm going to say he needs to reach out to LPMG and... Um, or Snapper. Or Snapper. Any one of us. <laughs> okay. You know, uh, well, well listen, I, you know, listen, I'm going to say uh -huh. that he can reach out whoever he wants to reach out to, LPMG yeah. or Snapper Boxing Manager. But the end, the end result is going to end right back to Nelson because mm -hmm. Nelson is good with communicating with people. I have you know, a lot of my... And he's a great partner. I can't say it enough. And anyone who knows me know that I do not just I don't gel with anyone unless you're 150 percent solid. 
So to it. me, we can't do nothing but get greater. I did this. I got this far at 30%. Now I got help. We at 130% now. And I mean that. A lot of people in trouble. I mean, this is a great man. You know, and I don't say that lightly. Appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it, man. I feel the same way about you, man. You know, okay. you know, like I said, he's him, the collaboration or, or the partnership, man, Africa needs to wait, especially that region. We're going to make right. champions man. out of that region. I promise. You know, what I look for me, I just want to let uh, you off the subject. Me, myself, yeah. I, you know, my, my thing looking mm -hmm. forward to, man, going over to, to Africa and any other uh, uh, um, Africa, um, anywhere in the world who is in poverty and need that help, man. Go over there, man, and I'm going to help feed, you know, feed feed the homeless or feed the people in poverty and, and give back much as we can. Yes, sir. That, that's where, you know, that's where your blessings and stuff come at, man. You know, yeah. give, you know, God gave us way more than we you know than that cup yeah. you know runs over with so runs over for so we got to share the water we got to share the wealth even if to you know give people knowledge give people hope sometimes going to be with hope is better than a full stomach yes sir you know? yes sir great now you know, Steph, Steph, Nelson, let me come to you i mean the last time i called you and we we're having a conversation about the situation that is currently in nigeria uh yes we were, we were having a conversation. I'm, I'm sure you still have guys on the ground who update you by the minute how yeah. things are going. And day, days are going. Um, 12th December is slowly coming. I mean, yes. any update for us so far? Yeah, so um, like I told you when I spoke to you, I am trying to make sure that I get the updates. You know, it, things, things are not as volatile as it was. Right. Know, what, like right. about maybe three weeks ago? Three weeks so, ago, yeah. But at the same time, I will make sure that we, you know, our safety is number one. If, if right. for whatever reason, things change on the ground, you know, mm. we're talking on one of the biggest platforms on TV, we'll have mm. to postpone for everybody's safety. But for the moment, for the moment, everything's moving along. But we watching right. everything on the ground, um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's calming down. If anything mm. happens that we feel like it's better for us to wait, um, you know, we'll discuss it with the team, we'll discuss it with everybody and make sure that um, we keep everybody safe, which is the number one, the number one thing anyway, you know, so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, not, stop. I mean, uh, you also mentioned that you will be coming to Nigeria and then Ghana as well, as, apart, apart from the events that you have on, on the 12th, to talk and then see the rest of the opportunities that you can um, bring, bring to, to the motherland. How is the call? How, how are the plans like? Would you, would you still be here whether um, 12th December, whether the 12th of the show, the December show comes on or not? Yes, well, I'll be there. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm believing December 1st. Uh, I think Nelson may be over there before me, but I'm, I'm going to get over there, you know, two to three weeks early so I can, you know, uh, we can lay down the platform for future uh, endeavors with, you know, over there for future shows. So I want to get as much as I can possible done while I'm there. So I'll be there for three weeks, possibly a month yeah. if I have to. Okay. Now, I, I know um, Snapper, uh, uh, Nelson worked with some uh, um, Salah uh, Fawaz. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Most of his fighters on the bill as well, because he has yes. uh, the one and all those guys. Yeah, so um, me and Sally work together. Great guy. Great, great, great mm. guy. So whoever he wants, or, you know, on the he, he was telling me he's not sure. He's looking for an opponent for Tony now. Tony's okay. supposed to, um, mm -hmm. but we're trying to get it together. If Tony's not able to be on the bill, it will be it will be because of um, you know because of an opponent. But of course, okay. Sally is um, you know is a great partner on the ground. Um, mm -hmm. You know we, we we do talk a lot. Um, he has some really really very very great fighters. Real on the wall, I think he's now ten and zero. Um, and the, the kid will be going places. I could definitely guarantee you that. I, I saw, I, I mean, he's a very solid opponent. Kid, yes, strong, guys. strong, strong mm. kid. So, very strong. He's going to be coming. But, you know, that's, you know, Sally's doing a great job on the ground in Nigeria. Because outside right. Go TV, Sally is the guy that was giving them that, that opportunity, you know. I agree. But of course, now we come in, and um, mm. I, I, I've, already, I've already assured him that we are mm. coming, recognizing that he's been trying all these years, and mm. we all all we're trying to do is elevate African boxing. No ego, no nothing, you know. 
Right. Um, right. Sure That's what we're going to do. Elevate. We ain't trying to do anything. We're going to do you know, Elevate African boxing, West African boxing, Ghana boxing, mm-hmm. Nigerian boxing, Togo boxing. Mm-hmm. Where, where are the talent at? You know, come right. to us. Right. We, we, we got you. You know. Right. I mean, we 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 slowly hitting one. Uh, I mean, Snapper. I mean, I want to get your last words um, uh, before you go. And if there's anything that I, I missed that you would want to talk about, you can bring it up, and then uh, we, we, we 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 will take it from there. I just want everyone, you know, just you know, stay prayed up. You know, uh, it's COVID. COVID still exists. Uh, I pray that you know the votes that we we, we cast. You know, turn in that favor because we do need a better America, we need a better world. Period. Um, mm-hmm. And for boxing wise, we have a. I have some great things in the work. I have a great meeting uh, next week, and then uh, after the meeting, I uh, will come back on there, on here exclusively, and yeah. give you something, man. That I think is going to be a very some great, very some big, great news, man. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Some, I, mean, I, and I tell you, <laughs> and this is one of the best. Uh, one of the best calls and best conversations I, I ever had in boxing. That's how great it is, and um, it's going to change. It's going to change the sport of boxing for real. And uh, yes. I'm looking yes. forward to it. So after Monday, you're going to see it's going to be a powerhouse. I mean, one of the biggest things in boxing, uh, and, and the world going to be on notice. LPMG yes, and SVM, like it's, and my guy Kofi, like everything. If y'all, if you guys want to see what we're doing, they're going to have to go through you. Yeah. Right. Yes, thank, you, man. thank you for the for opportunity, and I, I I I really know what is coming for these guys, and so and I've been with these guys before I left them. So I, if there's an opportunity for them to go next level, I get very excited. Now, now say for you, who was who was with you? Yeah. Okay. okay. December twelfth. December twelfth. Yes. We got Nigeria. Uh, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll we'll get that to you. But also one week after that, we we'll right back in Mexico, Mexico December nineteenth. <laughs> Yeah. So I don't want you to forget that. Like we 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 yeah, back to yeah, back. We, yeah, December seventh, yeah. so, uh, December twelfth, we we yeah. in um, Nigeria. Then we right back on the plane, yeah. losing that sleep. Yeah. Then right back yeah. at it, December nineteenth. Then we're gonna take a break, and then right back at it. You don't have too much time, but some yeah, of the yeah. stuff that Snapper is doing is doing mm. some of our cars in Mexico. Snapper is already mm. working on you know working on their visa, or whatever for the African finals, wow. so they can go to Mexico yeah. and start testing wow, their talent. You know, we're already working. Yeah, man. Okay. man. So that way, if I'm a fighter and I'm watching this show, I think I'll just text you tomorrow. <laughs> or maybe now. Yeah, now. You know, you know, because it is an opportunity that many of the because I mean um, Nelson, come on. We've we've seen this fighters sign with managers and promoters yeah, before. Yeah. And, and it and it just stays there. It's just a signing. Yeah, I'll, I'll sign you. That's that's where it sits. Five years, three years, it will just elapse and nothing happening. I mean, Absolutely. and we'll realize that the fighters will be there 35, 34, and then they'll hang up with their boots yeah. and they're close and they'll say, okay, now yeah. I'm a trainer. Yeah. You know, yeah. so, so we, we just, we just, just we just five fighters. fighters. Look, we, right. we just took five fighters to Mexico. Yeah. Five. And and anybody who knows who knows what it takes and what you have to put into with travel and lodging and feeding and in 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 making sure that the right. insurance and, and and it's just a lot. It's a and lot. It's that, a that's lot. The we doing this. We doing this as a, as a partnership with smiles on our face because this is what we love to do. Yeah. Is yeah. you know a lot of people when you get up to go to work and uh, your alarm clock goes off and you crying about it. It's not your passion. It's not for you. You know you're going to. Uh, there's two ways. There's two things in life. No in between. Either you're gonna follow your dreams that God gave you. Or you can be hired to follow someone else's. And what we're doing is we're following our own dreams. That's what makes it so sincere for us Absolutely. and so easy for us to do. Absolutely. Right. Now, I know you were going to ask me something, yeah. Kofi. Sorry. Yeah, I was about to ask you that. For for us, right? I mean, like I say, we are, you, you, you were in Nigeria and then you are back in the States and then yes. you, you, you've, you, you've come up with this brilliant idea with your partner on how to take the fighters to the next level. Yeah. I mean, your last words to all these fighters, these events coming up, and what you want to tell any boxer who get an opportunity to feature on a card that's LPMG and Snapper Boxing is yes. bringing. So, yeah, just real quick, of course, one thing I want to say to people, a lot of people have reached out to me. We have, we, we, we might not have enough slots. We have some of our mm-hmm. fighters that will be on the card. Some people reached out to us to put fighters on the card. Of course, it's not free. So, but 
at the end of the day, what I want the boxers out there to just know that want to maybe join LPMG or be on our card is all we need is transparency, man. Like I said, I try to manage everybody's expectation. No one, I don't think anyone should approach Snap or approach me and say, oh, listen, can you put my guy on, on the bill? Because I can't pay, I can't pay for your guy and pay for his opponent. He's not my fighter. Yeah, he's not, not a fighter. It doesn't make sense. You, You're right. You, you know? So we put our own fighters on, and if anyone wants to come on, you pay, you know, we'll give you the slot. You put, you pay Unless for Unless you come in on the B side. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, so that's how it works. Um, but, you know, just like you said, um, we, we, we open to making sure we elevate African boxing if we have a card. And we have mm. the slot. We, we you know, we we'll, we welcome anyone that wants to get on the slot. Of course, you got, you know, like I said, it's, nothing's ever free because we put a show together that is not free. Um, mm. you know, and as long as there's no ego and people work with us in partnership on the ground, we, you know, we'll elevate, you know, African boxing. You know, yeah. Period. That's what we there to do. We want to help them. Yes, we, we ain't trying to, you know, we ain't trying to hurt. Each, we want to elevate that that scenery over there, that that region. So. I mean, they just gotta work with us, you know. You yeah. can't put the carriage before the horse. We try, yes, you got sir. everything got to be calculated. We are doing yeah. it for them. Yep, yep. Because right. everyone, right. what we are doing real quick is we give an opportunity to not only be successful back in that region. Everyone is not gonna get a, t- a visa tomorrow to travel. You know, it's impossible. Yeah. You know, and it's so, very expensive. We buy, yeah. we, we purchase and visas, yeah. and but we we doing the right thing for these fighters. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So everyone is not going to get that. And sometimes I think some of the, the fighters in our region feel like, okay, you sign me, you know, you. it's impossible that everyone is going to get a chance to travel on a $5,000 visa. Visas is not like you go to, America, you go to the American Embassy. And it's, not, it's not a visiting visa. It's, right. Yeah. Right. It's, it's not like you can go to Walmart and get it at the it's checkout. Right. Thing. It costs yeah. money. At least about four or five grand. You right. know? So when we do this, you know, we, we want them to understand. And we're doing we're this for fighters. And I mean, yes, already sir. done and continually yes. doing. So yes, this sir. is things that we're doing. Like, yes. this, this, that's a that's a golden ticket. Yes. That's the American dream, you know? Yes, and, and absolutely. Absolutely. But Snap, doing I'll, a great you, thing. I'll let you finish up. You you finish up. No, no, no. It's great okay. because uh, that that's, I, I love it because that's his region. And you know, <laughs> I get excited. I get excited. <laughs> That's your reason. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be quiet. Let me, let me spectate for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm very honored and very blessed to have you guys on the show. Anytime I talk to you guys, I feel like a, a boxer's dream is almost um, about to um, be, be, be achieved or realized. Uh, oh, There's one thing I really mm-hmm. admire about you both. Uh, more grease to your elbow. And yeah, K-Box TV, we're here to trumpet everything that you guys are doing for the rest of the world to see. And, and, and yes, like you guys, true to your own words, if there's any kind of accountability, we just fall to the video and go like this and this. And if yes, check, sir. You can check Absolutely. Check Absolutely. Hold us to it. Hold us and to so it. And so we wish you yeah, we uh, 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 looking straight forward to December 12th. And of course, I never knew 17th we'd be back in Mexico, but like, <laughs> it's like, like yeah, something. Yeah. 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 Uh, we wish you guys well. I mean, we, 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 we want to see all of this things happen. And hopefully, the boxers will take advantage of these things. And take their own life to the next level, guys. Absolutely. Appreciate yeah. your time, and, and, and hope to catch you guys here, especially um, um, the both of you. I, I still have one part here, but I won't be able to add it. But I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to having you guys back on the show to talk about um, uh, what, what you guys said uh, about the car and also the, the news that you have you have coming in. And of course, if my new plan to work this thing, I'm sure we'll be very excited because he knows that he's almost about to fight for a yes, world time. Yes, yes sir. Also, also, also watches this thing. You also be aware that he's back in the ring yes. in 12, on 12th December, so he has to stay sharp and stay ready. I'll get in touch with Salah Fawaz and see how, how many of his guys will get, will get on the show. Gotcha. And we wish you guys well and hope to catch you guys back gotcha. in Africa. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you, man. All right. All right. You're welcome. All right, guys. My guest on the show had been. Uh, SBM and LPMG boxing managers, um, Snapper Boxer uh, or Snapper Taylor, and we also had um, Nelson Azuri of um, LPMG on the show. They told us everything that they had in stock for the guys here in Nigeria on December 12th, and also the guys they have, uh, they, they, also the guys that they're going to bring them back in Mexico on um, December 
17th. Amazing things that they are doing for these guys. Amazing. And I'm super excited for every fighter who is on, uh, on, on, on their card or being managed by them. If there's one thing that you can expect from these guys, it's nothing but the best representation. Guys, I want to say a very big thank you for to all of you for watching and making time to watch us, especially our YouTube followers on Instagram and tw sorry, YouTube, Twitter, and then on Facebook. We'll catch you same time. Uh, we'll catch you here at the same time next week, and we'll talk about what they, the card and we'll also talk about the rest of the things that they have in store. Have a very good evening. Stay blessed and enjoy the rest of your night.